Somebody asked on the, on the forum if I could give a little bit of an explanation as to why we have the wall bags and, and really how we should use them, how we should get the most out of them. Well, quite simply, uh, <clears throat> this is a wall bag. It's called a wall bag because it's a bag and it's on a wall. It's that simple. Don't try and read anything massive into this. Now, with Wing Chun in general, it's a case of less is more. What we don't want to be doing is trying to create extra work. Um, the, the way that Yip Man refined, you could say, the, the system was by taking out the things that weren't necessary and, and making it more pure, really, in, in its essence. So we don't want to add uh, or try and develop extra forms like kicking forms and sandbag forms and punching forms, whatever you might make up. Keep it really, really simple. Now, as for, for, for wall bags, the idea is whenever we are punching, the idea is that you're relaxed, you're gonna throw the punch out with the least amount of muscle resistance in a straight line so it's following the shortest path. And we're gonna use the energy at the point of impact. Nothing before, nothing after. The purpose of a wall bag, really, there's three types of punches that we can have. You've got chain punches, when we're just firing out lots of lots of chain punches. The idea of these punches is not, if you did 50 punches in five seconds, what we're not therefore saying is that, okay, that works out at 10 punches a second, so we're gonna do 10 punches a second in a fight. We're not. The idea of chain punches is to try and get you to do one punch in one tenth of a second. So that's, that's chain punches. Chain punches really to get the relaxation and the body mechanics. Then you've got your, uh, so they're the, the Lin Wan Kyun chain punches. Then you've got your singular punch, Yat Chi Kyun, your single thrusting punch. This way is a single punch, trying to fire the arm out as fast as you can and apply the energy on the end. Chain punches then, rapid succession, training for, for overall relaxation. That's one. Two, your singular air punch. Uh, trying to fire the, the arm out as fast as you can and apply the power on contact. Then we come to three, and the wall back punch. And the wall back punch really is a little bit of conditioning to, so you get used to that impact, that feel. Whenever you fill these as well, best to kind of fill them with um, maybe chickpeas, that kind of thing, dried peas, um, something that, uh, this has got sand in it, but the idea with the, the, the wall bag is that it gives a very similar density to flesh. So the impact is gonna be fairly similar. That's, that's one, one, one thing that we're after. You're also after the conditioning, as I say, but most important of all, the, perp the, the, the main purpose of the wall bag is to teach you to know when to stop. Because if you have a, a training buddy, a training partner, and you hit and you go through, you may wish to move that person. A hanging bag, we have hanging bags as well. Uh, we have one in the school, of course. The purpose of the hanging bag is, well, two things for that. I might use my, um, my stopping kick, where I can swing the bag away from me, and as it comes back, then I can apply the kick to try and stop this dead in its tracks. Or I can use aggressive kicks, and aggressive kicks I would use by kicking at the wall bag. So aggressive kicks, I'm kicking toward the, the, the bag, the wall bag. With a swinging bag, that's uh, working at our passive kicks. We're we'll waiting for the bag to come back to us and then kick to try and stop it dead in its tracks. Elbow strikes also, may I just take a, a point to mention, should also be done on hanging bags, not on a wall bag, because on a wall bag, if you try elbow strikes like so and you're going through these, you're probably all right for a few, but what you're gonna feel is, every time you're doing that, you're getting that constant impact and judder on your spine. So you are actually taking the impact. This is not a good thing to do against a wall. So a hanging bag we use for passive kicks and elbow strikes. The wall bags we use for aggressive kicks and punches. And as I say, to know when to stop, because as I punch on the wall bag, as soon as I make contact, stop, 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 stop. Because if I punch and I try and go through the wall, then of course the wall will not move, I will. And this is what I do not want to be doing. So quite simply, when you're using the punches, try to apply the power on contact, but to not want to punch through. Don't try and drive through the bag. The bag on the wall, the wall bag, will not move. 
if you do punches on a hanging bag, if you hit it properly, then the bag should only very slightly move. Therefore, that's gonna give you that temptation, that want to drive through to try and move the bag and effectively teach yourself to overcommit and really all the things that we do not wanna be doing with Wing Chun. So in short, that's how we use the wall bag. As soon as you make the contact, stop. As soon as you get comfortable with that, apply the energy on contact, stop. As soon as you're comfortable with that, apply the energy on contact and immediately relax. So as soon as you hit, nothing. That's what we're after. That's gonna get the maximum damage with the minimum effort. The straight line, apply and relax, apply and relax. As soon as it's on, it's off and make sure that you do not move yourself. Give it a go, um, you should be okay with the wall bags. Uh, just uh, obviously build up to this. If it's your first time practicing on wall bags, don't go hitting it with, uh, with all your force. Allow yourself a little bit of conditioning, a little bit of time, and just gradually pick the pace up and the power. Hope that answers some questions. Thank you.